Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron from AppOSX.com, and um, as you guys know, I've been, or I said I was going to start doing monthly videos about my top 10 App Store apps for iPhone and iPad, and my top store jailbreak apps for iPhone and iPad, but I thought near the end of the month, either that or bi-weekly, I was going to go ahead, most likely bi-weekly, I'll announce it later on my Twitter, but uh, just to show you all the jailbreak apps that I have on my phone, basically uh, what's on my phone for uh, jailbreak because it's always cool to see what's new you guys might miss uh, a tweak that came out some app that you didn't know about that maybe isn't that popular but it still came out and it's important or cool so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and get started first one that was shown in the earlier part of the video is multi-flow the awesome app switcher between different apps it's definitely one of my top apps I showed you guys a video about it earlier by the way, all vit links will be in the description to how to get these apps or showing these apps for most of the apps, not all the apps, because some of the apps really don't need a video like Winterboard, but I'll go ahead and move on to my next application, which is Make It Mine. It's called MIM on the phone, but in City it's called Make It Mine, which allows you to uh, focus in there, change stuff like the subscribe to whatever you want, and your carrier name to whatever you want, so you can make it. Jordan, uh, Jake, whatever your name is, you can go ahead and change that, change that to, I don't know, Texas, whatever, if you like a school, it's definitely a pretty cool app, and it does it without respringing, so it's really cool. So, these next three apps are basically apps from, like, the Infina family, as I like to call it. So, the first one is Infina Folders, which just allows you to have as many icons as you want in a folder with scrolling. I think this is really awesome, especially for games, so you don't have to have like an action games folder or shooting games. If you have a lot of games, it's definitely really useful, so that's pretty cool. The next is Infinite Dock, which is down here. It basically allows you to have as many icons in the dock as you want, and even allows you to change how many icons are in your dock, like 5, 4, 3, 2, all the way up to about 10 or 9, I believe, so you can scroll have as many, even all your icons in the dock via scrolling. So it's definitely a, a app to check out. Um, so the next app is Infinite Board, which I don't have set up fully because I had to get a new phone. This is a replacement iPhone 4, but it allows you to scroll up and down through your uh, springboard pages. Definitely a really cool app. Next app here is Notified Pro. Showed you guys a video of this earlier. You just, uh, looks like I'm missing there, drag the thing down and you get your previous notifications, you can um, collapse them, uncollapse them, view all your notifications so you never miss a beat with your sometimes very crowded and a lot of notification type life. So that's pretty cool. There's Cydia, it's not really, um, it's on every jailbroken phone. So next thing is 3G Unrestrictor. Uh, 3G Unrestrictor is really cool, allows you to do things like FaceTime over 3G. Basically what the app does is it just unrestricts apps to trick them to think they're on Wi-Fi. So you can FaceTime over 3G, download apps on the App Store over 20 megabytes, download stuff on iTunes over 20 megabytes, and watch high quality YouTube videos over 3G. Because if you did not have that, you'll be watching videos that are very, very blurry and it's painful to watch to be honest. It's quicker loading time, but it's the quality is not very good. So the next thing is Iconoclasm, which is how I have five icons here, four down instead of four by four. Uh, allows you to, it, it's a program that allows you to change the layout basically to whatever you want, like two by eight, eight by three. There's a bunch of stuff on Cydia, a bunch of, they're like uh, little add-ons things that you install and you can um, select that and it'll respring into the new format. Uh, there's a bunch of formats and they're all in Cydia for free and it's pretty cool. Okay, so my next app here is Display Recorder. Let's go ahead and I will show you the settings. Basically what it allows you to do is record, it's just a screen capture of your screen. So if I wanted to um, just go ahead and by pressing the top button right here, holding it, I can uh, start recording. And right now, as I use it, it shows my taps just so people watch the video know what I'm doing. It is recording the screen, and then when I hold it, I'm done. And I can transfer it over to my computer via Wi-Fi or USB. 
So that is definitely a cool app, and I will try to incorporate it into my later videos. The problem is that it does not support audio at this time, which is uh, pretty painful. So then you have to manually add the audio, so I'll try to use it and hopefully it gets updated to support audio. So another thing is display out, which allows you to um, just mirror your iPhone's screen onto the TV using Apple's cable. But unlike apps that uh, you can do that for a single app, this does it for the entire um, iPhone interface. So it's definitely a really cool uh, extension, and you can change the Mac screen resolution and enabled follow interface scale, stuff like that. So the next thing is 5-icon switcher, which is only if you use uh, don't use multi-flow, but if I double tap the thing right here, it'll bring up Apple switcher, and as you can see, there are five icons instead of four, and believe it or not, even though it's called five icon switcher, you can go ahead and change how many icons there are all the way from one to ten. So that's a pretty cool tweak. So the next thing is uh, qual dial. It kind of just like completes the number for you. Not really sure what how it works that well, but it. So let's just say I start typing a number. It can kind of like uh, pick out part of the number and say like, looks like Soldier Boy. Uh, that's his number, I believe, if you want to go ahead and copy that. I don't know. I believe it's his number, but you can go ahead. It just, it'll just just start like giving you people's number with, or people's name that have that number in it. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, next thing is Lockdown Pro, which is really cool if you don't want to have a password on your phone so other people can use it. Or you just like, you don't like typing in your password every time you unlock the phone, but only for certain apps. So if I wanted to go into my messages, I'd have to type in a password. Just like that. And it opens the app. And it's pretty cool. So you can do that on basically any app. It allows you to password protect any application. So it's definitely really cool. I have the pro version. Next thing is lock info, which is actually on my lock screen. And this allows you to like view emails and stuff like that without even um, needing to unlock your phone. You can see voicemails, SMS, notifications. It's very customi customizable. I haven't played with it around that much, but you can have add-ons for like things. It can show you your upcoming task and stuff like that. Multiflow, I've already showed you. It's the app switcher. Pop-up blocker, I really don't use, but it just allows you to... Let's say I don't want to have any calendar alerts pop up on my screen when my device is locked. It'll basically just keep it from popping up. Safari Download Manager just allows you to download files via Safari. It's just as simple as that. There's the uh, little button down there. And it allows you to download files. I haven't downloaded any yet. As Once again, this is my new phone, but it's very useful downloading uh, programs on the go in case you don't have your computer. So let's go back to settings here and uh, now SB Rotator. Now I download this it doesn't appear to be working right now you guys can leave a comment below if it's working but as far as I know it is not working for me. I've played with the settings a lot and it just does not seem to be working for whatever reason so leave a comment in the comment section below tell me if it works or if it doesn't work but until apparently it's getting updated and it's fixing bugs, but we'll have to see. So I'll go ahead and show you SnapTap really quickly. SnapTap's pretty cool. It's very simple. Yeah, basically just when you're using your camera, it'll allow you to use the volume buttons to take a picture. As you can see, it just took a picture. Now I'm pressing the volume button. So it's it works with all camera applications, I do believe. But uh, yeah, that's really cool. So the next thing is Winterboard. Obviously you guys know Winterboard and it's how I got the Steam. If you want to see how I got the Steam, check out the video up there. Uh, it's called Suave HD and you can go ahead and watch that video if you do not know how to get it. And I believe it's on the Insanely I repo now, so if you have that repo you can go ahead and try that out. But if you want to watch how to get the full, uh, the full theme, you can go ahead and watch that video. So the next thing here is iFile. iFile is just an awesome, very useful application for uh, just, you know, you can like go into your applications folder, edit peedless files, and uh, 
mod games and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. You can also use it for anything that you need to do. There's just some for uh, some tweaks and some hacks and stuff. You need to modify some files, and it's definitely a lot better than using SSH. And you can even transfer files using this Wi-Fi button using the web server, so that's definitely really cool. So definitely check out iFile. The next application is iClassic, which I do not have a theme installed for it, but if you get a theme installed for it, it allows you to, uh, basically it's just a virtual iPod Classic. See, as you can see, I can scroll, I can play a song. Um, it, it would look better if I had a theme, but they cannot do it to copyright reasons. And I can start playing a song, the volume. See, I can change the volume. So that's pretty cool like that. So uh, definitely go out and check out iClassic. It's just like the uh, iPod Classics interface. It's really good for those classic users, and it's cool. Is it integrates into the iPod, gets all your songs and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that down so I don't get in trouble from YouTube. Okay. So the next thing is re or my Y4. Uh, my Y4, oops, uh, crashed there, my bad. I have to fix that later, I haven't fixed it yet, but my Y4 just allows you to create Wi-Fi hotspots uh, with using your iPhone. It's really cool, so if you're at the airport and you have your laptop, you can uh, whip out your iPhone, get a Wi-Fi internet connection going without paying the stupid $10 fees or whatever it is to use Wi-Fi at the airport, so that's where I find it most useful. Now, Rename2 is not launching right now, but if you guys can get it to work, on 4.0 or above, go ahead and leave a comment in, section, in the comment section below, but it's not working for me for whatever reason. Screen recorder is like display recorder, but it does do audio recording, as you can see right there, but the frame rate is very, very low, even on the iPhone 4, and I don't know why, but if they can improve on the frame rate, that'd be great. Now, Switcher Plus, this I believe is only on the Insanely Eye Repo, it just allows you, it's in beta right now, but allows you to have more options for Apple's default switcher down here. Um, there's nothing really much right now. They said you're going to be able to customize it, but you can go ahead and put apps like on priority on this first page, even if they're not in the background. So if you use email a lot and you happen to quit it and you double click and it's not there, it'll be there by priority on a list. So that's really cool. It's supposed to get more features. Go ahead and check that out on the Insanely Eye repo. So I showed you Make It Mine, and I think the last, or second to last thing is Byte SMS. So if I go ahead and press the volume button, and tap there, or oops, Fantasy Football, Fantasy Football is awesome, and I tap there, I can go ahead and start uh, making a message right now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. It just allows you to um, delete, or... Uh, my bad. Create text messages to anyone right without even leaving the app, as you can see right here. So it's really cool. You can enter in a name and then a message, and then you can hit send, call the person, open, uh, close, templates, pop up, stuff like that. It's definitely really cool. And you can reply to messages too without even using the app. God, I can't close that. Okay. So the last app I believe that I have on here is Wi-Fi Sync. This allows you to sync your uh, iPhone with your computer via Wi-Fi. It's really cool, works on Mac and PC. It's not quite as fast as USB Sync, but it is definitely a really cool application. So once again, there's Cydia. I believe they already showed you, but that's pretty much it on my iPhone. That's, oh, and one more thing, obviously, SB settings. So. Here's SP settings. I have some pretty cool toggles like remove background, display out, uh, by SMS alerts and stuff like that, turn off and on Snapchat. So uh, that's it for uh, all my jailbreak add-ons for this month at the end of this month. Uh, that's it. Please rate or like this video, comment on this video, uh, follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. Once again, the giveaway is coming once I get a thousand subscribers. I'm currently at about 875, so, you know, tell your friends, uh, spread the news of App OS X, and uh, tell people to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for all the guys who have stuck with me the whole time, and keep watching my videos. Thanks, guys.